Radio waves in particular have an effect upon biological systems that is often underestimated. Our human DNA has a resonance frequency of 150 megahertz. In this frequency range, even the slightest field strengths are enough to produce biophysical effects. They can cause mood changes and they trigger altered states of consciousness. Reference measurements have shown that the 150 megahertz high frequency wave in particular activates production of our own internal psychoactive substances. One gland in the brain in particular, the pineal gland, is one of the most powerful producers of such substances in the human body. The pineal gland is also hypersensitive when it comes to external magnetic fields and radio waves. It could, for example, act as an excellent transmitter and receiver of cosmic signals. The human pineal gland naturally produces one particularly potent psychoactive substance, originally called telepathine, due to its enhancement of psychic abilities. Dimethyltryptamine, or DMT. Some refer to it as the spirit molecule. When you have a geomagnetic storm, you can get microstructural changes within the brain tissue itself. Now, if you change structure, you change function. You look historically, you'll find that these massive global changes in what we call revitalization movements or revival movements or uh, feelings where there's massive movements of, a, of an idea often occur during periods of certain kinds of geomagnetic activity. Sooner or later, we will have a geomagnetic storm that has the appropriate pattern that will influence large portions of individuals who will see all kinds of things, perceive all kinds of phenomenon. This is the great transit of our mind from a three-dimensional space to a hyperdimensional space. And the other huge passage is from one only time, from past to future, to many multiple times.